everybody it's Diane from Tattered Edges Design at her craft counter once again and I think we all do this I have a box you know like you can't even tell it's a box a short uh, old paper box and when I get snippets and stuff I didn't use and oh that's cool but I don't want it now you know it just gets chucked in the box until it gets like this and it's mounted and Diane goes I gotta do something with that box so sometimes I sort it. Sometimes I, um, I've got uh, one of my smash books. I just take stuff that, you know, it's been sitting so long. I'm sick of looking at it, and I kind of make a, you know, just kind of add it to a page of growing stuff like that. But today I thought, since I just made some altar playing cards that was kind of on my mind, maybe I would just make some like the single staple, one staple I guess they call it, one staple collage with those. Although sometimes I glue them down too. But um, just, you know, to use this stuff up. And I'm not sure I have a lot of focal images here, so I might just make even backgrounds for later use. I don't know. So that's it, and that's what we're doing, and I don't need that. Um, but yeah, it's just all kinds of stuff. It's it's new, it's old, it's cards, it's magazines, it's atlas pages, it's book pages, it's everything you could possibly think of in the world of paper. And I've got the same decks of cards as when I was making the, uh, oh, we got some wrong, facing the wrong way, um, making the APCs. So, that's the plan. And I'm just, I just have a regular stapler. I don't have one of those tiny attachment things. Just a regular standard office stapler. So I'm just grabbing, I'm, I'm gonna try not even to be too, you know, thinking too precise, which I am not too great at. So let's see, I'm gonna frame. And like I said, it may wind up just even being backgrounds for later. Oh, we have trombone practicing. I didn't know that was going to go on right now. Alright, that's it. I'm not going to try to think too much with this. And yeah, I'm not... I haven't made a lot of those uh, one stable collages. I've done a few. And they, oh, that's kind of neat. 1978 calendar. You know, one of those wall calendars that are cloth. Uh, anyway, um, I made a few of the one staple collages. I'm not too great at it, maybe because I haven't made a lot, but um, it seems like I, it's hard for me. I, I don't know why. It's just my background is different. But to to get things, you know, so it's just held by one staple. I'm always sort of. <laughs> Like, well, it should be like this, and then the staple's not going to reach, and blah, 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 and, but we'll see how we do here. And there are people that do things like, um, you know, just take, just take three items, just take five items, just, that's kind of cool, but I don't think I'm going to limit myself to that. Well, see, she's already thinking too much. I'll cut these apart. This is um, you know, on the salvage of fabric that tells you what colors are in the design. But you know, years ago they never did that. But I'm kind of glad they do now because it's kind of fun. See, like that's cool. And so we would put have to put a staple like here. Oh my god, a dog that wants to go outside. <laughs> All right, just a minute. Hang on, folks. All right, I'm back. So I was saying, I think, so I would need to staple like here, which I guess is okay, but to my, you know, artistic eye, it's a little, I don't know. It's probably not what I would do if I was not stapling, but I'm stapling, so shut up and staple it. All right. All right. Did everything get caught? Yeah. See, now, 
being the person I am, I'm gonna, I, I admit it, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna glue these down because, you know, you can't really, <laughs> it's gonna rip off or something at some point. But at any rate, I'll do that later when nobody can yell at me. So there's one. They go pretty fast if you don't sit around and jabber and go, you know, what about this, what about that? It's a contents page. I don't know. Maybe I should save that more for a journal or something. Let's see, we're thinking already. I don't know. Butterfly. Oh yeah, here it is. I was. I made that. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers. Uh, kind of a woodsy uh, junk journal. Oh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, a week ago. And I was looking for that to put it in it. It says Forest Friends and the Woods. And you think I could find it? No, that's why it's still there. All right, does everybody else do that? Or is it just me and my luck? When, you know, you, you know, let's just say you know these owls are in here. And you're looking and looking. You got to probably go through the whole thing twice. And then when you finally do find it, it's like on the bottom. It's just always on the bottom. Every time I want something, you know the old expression, this is the last place you looked. Well, it's not the last place I looked. It's the last possible place I could look. But anyway. You know what, Diane? I really don't care. That's kind of, that's part of an old greeting card. Here's a question too. Oh, I kind of like that, but I said it's not really a focal image, so should I just staple it and add a focal image later? Because that, that's the problem with this junk box, or whatever you call it. It's more, you know, cut off stuff, and there's not really focal images because they get used. Well, that's, that could be focal. Okay, this is um stamp catalog page, just on an actual stamp. I'm going to use my mini pinking scissors so that it looks like a stamp. And what was I asking? I don't know. I'm tired today. I don't remember. It'll come to me. There. Okay. Where do we want it? Oh, it's upside down. All right, now, for, I'm not that stupid. It doesn't look like it should go like that, but it doesn't. It goes like that. Um. Alright, we're being stapled, and I think I'm going to trim off the top a little bit. If we can find the stapler, there it is. Okay, that's good. Oh, I know what I was going to say. See, it said it would come to me when I mentioned that vintage card. It's kind of cool. Why doesn't card companies, I won't name names, but I think we all know who I'm talking about. Why don't they come out with... You know, not even like a whole big thing, just a small, this is wrapping paper. Um, you know, even like 10 or 5. Um, retro, you know, vintage designs that they had years ago. I mean, you know, like in the 50s or 60s or 70s. Why? They must own that, right? It can't be. And I know all of us vintage ladies. <laughs> would be buying them up. I don't, I don't really understand that. I guess there's a lot to business and stuff Diane might might not know. My little fan is rattling again. I don't know what it's doing. There, this is glossary. And the color matches, even though I'm not supposed to be thinking. Well, that's not bad just like that. 
Do we need a little something though in the stop thinking Diane category? I don't know. Do you ever see on you know people's videos, you know, journal collage people? They're going through their piles of junk like this, and it looks so interesting. But the person going through it is so sick of looking at this stuff they could spit. And there's more ferns. Yeah, if you ever um, get one of those philatelic catalogs, pretty good fodder. Which, yeah, I haven't gotten one for quite a while. I think if you don't continually order like through the mail then they get your name off the list in a hurry uh, <laughs> well you know what since I can't find anything we're just gonna go with this maybe I'll add something somewhere down the line maybe I won't it's kind of cool it's even new wrapping paper okay what else do we want to use up besides like this whole box? Oh, this is kind of cool. And I'm going to try not to do a lot of cutting and I'm not going to go, oh wait a minute, let me get this, let me get that. Try, I did say, I did say won't. What about this border? This is scrapbook paper. So what do you guys do with all your scraps? Do you chuck them at some point? Do you do something like this? Do you just keep letting them grow? Do you not even save scraps? <laughs> yeah, I'm smart enough not to save them. It is kind of hard though, I think, if you are into journaling and collaging, like you know, just like that. I mean, that's a cool image. I don't want to throw it out. Or I like this wrapping paper. I should. I could do something with that. So you save it, and before you know it, it is taking over your life. You know what that needs? A word. But we'll come back and worry about that later. Can you have like a one staple collage with added additions later? Is that? the staple people are going to come and get you? I don't think so. Alright. I like that too. Okay. What else? Those are old. Those are some stickers. A scrapbook paper. A little border thing. A piano. There's a little Beatrix Potter people. Another map thing. So, a, a greeting card. Oh, well, you know what? We could cut it and have both sides. That I should save for a faux postage stamp, should I not? So, we'll put it aside and forget about it, and then the next time I do this, and I'll come across it again, right? straight. Yeah, I tip my hat to you people that aren't obsessed with this history. I really, actually, I really like collages and stuff like that when it's ripped and torn and crooked and stuff. I just can't. And I've tried. I've tried. And it's like, it just it doesn't work for me. Tissue paper. That. It's blue. I kind of like that. <laughs> no. I wonder what would happen. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> But if you just said, you know what, I'm just 
I'm going to reach into here and get like three things and that's it. I'm going to make them 1969. I'm going to make them work. I'm just going to put them together no matter how mismatched they are. It might be kind of cool. But I don't think I'm that brave. Alright. I'm going to trim off this tissue paper. I should tear it, shouldn't I? I ain't going to throw that away. I could use something though. Alright, see, I'm not, I'm trying not to think. This is the back of, if anyone remembers my I've Been Thinking journal. This is the back cover of that. And yeah, I'm kind of doing this too. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as journal making and whatnot because I've got quite a few journals sitting in my shop and which I don't mind I mean I like to make them so I don't care but you know I start running out of storage room so I kind of feel like I should lay off making journals for a while I like okay what else do we got here Oh, you get over here, you're kind of big. Oh, you're sorry, there's my hair in there. Some sheet music. Although these cards are very, they're not new, new, but you can tell they're not used. They're, they're awfully white. And that's awfully vintage y looking. How about this? The card's got dirt on it. under normal circumstances I would cut all around these leaves and <laughs> she's weakening all right well who's not to say this is how it was in my scrap box it was already cut right so fall is upon us all of a sudden it's about 70 degrees, dreary, rainy, and this is probably the coolest day we've had in a long time. I mean, really, since, you know, <laughs> June or something. And it's all wet outside because it rained all night. Well, most of the night. She done with the weather report yet? Yes, I was. Okay. Well, it goes this way, otherwise it looks like it's upside down. Because it is. Oh, I got all kinds of stuff in here. Birthday, that goes in my birthday. I've got a little birthday section. Oh, some old negatives. What's on there? I think this is. I'm not sure. I was gonna say, just like um, electronic stuff for a you know commercial film studio, but I can't, can't quite tell. I think that's what it was. That's kind of interesting. Why not? Oh. And then we have the volunteer fireman siren. Not a noon siren. Does anybody still do that? I, when I was a kid, going back, you know, 500 years, that they used to have a noon siren. See, now this is cool, but how am I going to staple it with one staple? Is that the 
Well, you just don't, don't worry about it. Or, well, if you're making a one-staple collage, you have to figure it out. I think if you're trying not to think and stuff, that's too much thinking. <laughs> More wrapping paper. And what about a little flower business behind the black and white flowers? What would that look like? That's okay. Like I said, if I was really making thought out APCs, I probably would do something different, but it's okay. I think I'm going to staple here and then we're going to hit the contents with some glue. What can I say? Yeah, this is not, you know, a tutorial on how to do this. I don't know if there's any actual tutorials out there. I mean, you grab paper and staple it to a playing card. How much of a tutorial do you need, right? Okay. All right, how many is that so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. These do, I will admit, these do go really fast. Comparatively speaking. Oh, what about a butterfly? I think we'll get rid of the hello. This is scrapbook paper. Plants for the Woodland Garden. See, that was going to go in the Woodland Journal, too. And now that ship has sailed, I don't really feel like making another one. Alright, you journal makers, do you do that, too? Like, you know, maybe you make a fall journal or a couple fall journals, and then that's enough. I want to move on to something different. Or can you make, you know, 10 of them? No, this is even all cut out. I should use that. Well, sheet music here. Okay, that's pretty good, but I need, and I know that's thinking, but it's, it, I can't leave it like that. I did, I'll just have to come back and add to it later anyway. Sorry, am I getting my hair in there? I, <laughs> I'm kind of reaching and my hair is, when I bend a little bit, just about level with the camera arm holder thing, apparatus. Well, what about two butterflies? Generally, I don't like to duplicate subject matter, but that's kind of interesting. All right. Now oh, it's starting to rain again. My neighbor's dog is telling me it's raining again. Okay. That's kind of nice. It's, you know, very uh, placid. I like that. All right, all right, we could do something with this. It's way down there, I don't know how I'm gonna staple it. There's an old German something or other. Well, it's a piece of a book page, but I don't know what they're talking about. Some work basket cover that the cover like fell off. Oh, Judy Garland. She's pretty here. Um, you can tell how the cover just sort of fell off. I kind of like the price tag. Well, it's not a tag. 
That's cool. But I can't possibly staple that. And yeah, there's probably people out there going, well, use two staples. But I don't want to overdo the staplage. Let's, we'll staple this and glue on the price thing. Oh, it's coming down pretty good. go. I, like I said, I may come back and, I don't know, goof. I may not. Uh, I think I want pattern tissue. Bird is too big. A little piece of a Winnie the Pooh book. The artists. I'm gonna do something fun with that. Maybe we could use that poncho girl. It's a good way to use up some playing cards too if you have an abundance. I don't know, do we really wanna cut her down that much though. Nah, because then you can't see her cool skirt. See that? I wonder what year this was from. Must have been about 70, I would guess. Alright. Stop reminiscing about... That's a work basket magazine, by the way. This has to do with artists, but it's kind of pretty. It's an old book page that I wound up not using for something. Not using for something. I don't really want just artists. Okay. Actually, I like that just like that. Can you get away with just two things on a card? How minimal can you get, huh? But I like it. Okay. All right. And, and for as many as I'm making, and as fast as it's going, my pile isn't getting down that far. It's kind of cute. That's the border of a birthday card. A new one, even. And the inside better? The inside's more matte. It might match. What else? Okay. Stop thinking. I can tell by the yellowing, uh, this is very old. Some sort of American Thread Company in New York. <laughs> Even doing this, I end up looking at the same stupid stuff all the time. You get tired of it. Oh. <laughs> hey, we found it. How funny. The American Thread Company. There you go. No, it's too much like the other thing. That's fine. But there's certainly no focalness there. No security envelopes. There's plain paper. I should put that aside for something else. Oh, what about one of these? 
this uh, graphic 45 paper. But it, yeah, you know, what do you do when you've got like a snippet this small? You can, I can't put that in my scrap paper box, scrapbook paper box. It'll get lost and crumpled and... Yeah, I'd like to know too, speaking of scrapbook paper, so you folks that have a lot of it and have these, well, I just, I just want to know how do you store it? That's my question. Because I've got some box, and they literally are just boxes. They're not the nice plastic thing. Literal, you know, like mailing boxes that the paper fits in. And I've got them all stacked up in there, kind of, you know, by subject. But once you start cutting into them, and you get, like, let's see if I can grab one, because it's so important. I've I got to know what you do. You know, so now you've got something like this. And then stuff starts getting hung up on all these corners and things and what do you do? How do you, you know how do you store that? I do have another box that's flat. It's not this you know up. And that works a tad better. But I still wouldn't say it's the answer to my problem. Or there's just there's just no real way to do it. You're just stuck. Use your paper up more so you don't have that problem. It's kind of cool. Well, since we have this, I'm going to do something with this. That's pretty. Right. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to do a lot of cutting, but that's a real jaggedy, unattractive edge there. What about just some text? What is this from? This is a pack of fun. There's no date on it though. And for those of you that don't know, it actually is pack o fun. Can you see? It's not pack of fun. These are shrunk way down out of a um, McCall's uh, needlework. They were pillows, I think. But I, I forgot what the other one said. There was a fourth one that said something, and I wanted it for a, a personal collage I was making. So that's why those are left. My personal, I mean, for myself. It's really private. Uh, oh, this kind of matches. Free catalog. Uh, that looks better. Well, I think we'll just leave that alone. And maybe at some point add a little, maybe a focal image. There we go. Okay. So how long do we want to watch, you know, someone digging in their stuff? It's kind of fun. Too, too icky, too icky. That's what she, no, that'd be too icky. That's uh, Marilyn Monroe in the Seven Year Itch. And I think she might have said it a little better than I just did. This is a flap of a uh, mag magazine envelope I made and painted, painted on the paper. It's a weird angle, but is that kind of cool? That 
should be another postage stamp, shouldn't it? Where did I put that thing? There. As a matter of fact, I think that's probably why I put this in here. But I didn't get around to that yet. A lot of you crafty, creative people, you've got, you know, like Willy Wonka said, so, mm, so much time, so little to do. Strike that, reverse it. There's always stuff I'm going to want to try and make, and then other things come along and they get pushed back. Well, it's okay. I'll just rip it across. Alright, I'm kind of not really fussy, but sort of... Yeah, is there a word for this when you, you know, leave a white edge and just sort of go around? Semi-fussy? We'll call it semi-fussy cutting. Not supposed to think, you just do a piece of a map. Not do anything for anybody. Not really. Well, actually, that's kind of cool. Kind of with the two, two corners up like that. All right. I think we'll staple that and then at some point come back with a word, maybe. But I think I want to get rid of this. Okay. Alright. What about another one for now? Ooh, today. For today. For now. And um, I'll probably make a few more by myself and then secretly glue down and uh, maybe add a couple of words or something and then I'll come back and show what they look like. Ooh, stay there. Oh, here's a page number. It can go in my little number bag. This is out of an old kid's book. One of those, what do they call those? How and why or something. They're bigger and they're cheap paper and they get really yellowed. And I forget. I guess, yeah, it was on seashells. Well, this is an old coloring book page that I intended to put in a journal and it didn't make it. What about that leaf? It's nice and yellowed like the seashell. Yeah, that's fine. We need something under it. How about the rug catalog that you're supposed to send in for? Oh, I kind of like that. Alright crew, there's that one. Like I said, I'll continue on for a while and then kind of finish these off and come back. Okay, I'm back and uh, it's another day. <laughs> my my battery said it was on 10% and I was dumb enough to believe it and so it ran out before I was done. And which mean I, meant I lost some footage there which you know, big deal. So we lost a little APC footage, but it just, I felt was going to be really disjointed if I tried to sort of, you know, edit it together. So I'm just going to do the last segment I did kind of over again. So if it seems like I'm, you know, repeating, or I don't know what I'm talking about, it's because this is another day. But anyway, I finished, I think it was 21 cards, 
in a little over an hour yesterday, so that's a lot of work. And I just was going to take you through them. And since, you know, I thought I was done with that video, I went ahead and put one. <laughs> I did put this one in my journal. Just so you can see that one. Okay. But, um, some of them, I did ink the edges. Yeah, I broke, I totally broke all the rules, I think, for, you know, one, one staple collages. But I added, you know, a number there, inked around the edges. This one I did some faux stitching, which, you know, is a marker, and a little phrase. Uh, this one just some faux stitching and some ink. This one I left alone, I think that's how you saw it last. Uh, a little faux stitching on that one, that's it. Oh, ink. Uh, this one I think I left alone, yeah, I left this one alone, but I did want to point out, did anybody notice, because I did not until later, it's 1978, and I cut that off the salvage numbers, and I just wanted the color, not realizing it was 7 and 8. So, <laughs> kind of weird. Uh, this one I added this scrapbook trim and faux stitching around. Uh, this one I put some, just cut out leaves. Um, I kind of wanted to fill in that corner area and faux stitching. Uh, this one I put on a postage stamp and stitching and ink. Uh, this one I put on a postage stamp and you know ink around the edges. Uh, this one I just inked. I didn't do anything else to it. Uh, this one I put today there and inked. This one I stamped a word and did some faux stitching. Now the rest of these I think I did off camera. Those are out of a catalog stamps, not real stamps, as is that one. And that too, that's out of a catalog. That's um, like that, I don't know what they call it, it's like a real fibrous paper. It, it is a pad I bought, um, you know, at Hobby Lobby or something, but it's like fabric paper or something. So that's it. I did get a lot done yesterday. And I do want to mention, you know, how most people, and I'll try to do it too when I can, give credit to where they saw ideas and stuff. I don't know where I first saw this. It's been years. It might even have been on Flickr. I know I saw the APCs for the first time on Flickr. Where I saw the one staple collage stuff, I don't know. So I'm sorry, whoever, whoever you inventor person was. I don't know. So anyway, hopefully this segment will work out. And thanks for viewing and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.